Have you ever heard that you can qualify for an FHA loan with a 580 credit score, but gone to a lender and they're like, no, you need actually a 620 or a 640. Like, why is that? And who is actually right? Well, that's due to lender overlays. Let's use the FHA loan for an example. So per FHA guidelines, you can actually get a FHA loan with a 500 credit score if you want to put 10% down. Once you have a 580, that's when the minimum 3.5% requirement comes into play. But some lenders are like, huh, that's a little bit too risky for us. We want to manage our risk and put additional guidelines on top of the minimum guidelines for that program, which lenders can do. They can't go under the minimums, but they can raise the floor on the minimums. And so let's talk about managing risk. So what about the lender that does the FHA loan with the 580? How do they manage their risk? Well, they manage their risk through a higher interest rate to you. So yeah, you can find lenders that will give you like a FHA loan with a 580, but you're going to get a much higher interest rate than if you would have with a 620 because you're a more risky borrower. And here's the other thing as well. So lenders do not have the money to make every single loan they make throughout the year. They have to actually sell those loans on the secondary market. So how it works is they group certain loans together based on risk and sell them together as part of mortgage-backed securities. And lenders buy those mortgage-backed securities and that provides the lender money in order to give out more loans. And different investors have different risk tolerance and all lenders don't work with all investors. So that's why there's different guidelines for different lenders because they have to ultimately sell those loans off to the investors. There you go. Check out some more.